Ah, uh, yo, see, that was a good time, man. Let's do best in the game. But this time I get Life is Strange before the storm, man. I don't really got much to say besides sorry it took so long. I know a couple of y'all niggas mad. A couple of y'all niggas mad that I'm playing this instead of going straight to Life is Strange 2. Divine Intervention. Just call it Divine Intervention. I can't just jump to Life is Strange 2. I'm right here. So, are you with me? Or are you with me? We, 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 we together, bro. So, I don't get shit else to say. So, I ain't finna waste nobody else's time. We just finna hop into it, bro. Mm, Ice Cube just tried to get me up out of it. Hmm. So what is this, a game that we play, or are you really trying to get up out of here? Let me know something. 1337, leap. Niggas don't know nothing about that. All y'all last 12. All y'all last 12. Okay. Okay, bro. Get niggas putting on their brakes because you want to be funny. If I was a train conductor, I probably wouldn't even touch my brakes. Somebody said, what about the people that's purposely trying to get checked out? That's, that's fucked up for them, then. I pray that I they... I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. I pray that they get where they want to be, bro. <laughs> but goddamn it. would kill me if she knew I was out here. Y'all niggas wanna play on tracks and shit? Oh, okay. Yo, it's gonna turn into roadkill real quick. Look at her little walk when I press shift, y'all. Look, look. <laughs> she thinks she me or something. No, um, mm. They got some advanced controls this year. Um, no, um, 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 Nardo Wick. Nigga. That's the nicotine buzz getting to her. I ain't never seen a motherfucker oh, middle finger a fucking uh, fence. Hell no, get right. You tweaking. Somebody in there killing that little guitar. This is awesome. I have to get through that door. Oh my god. You got rewind power? Am I in the middle of my camera, y'all? Let me know something. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Damn, who was folks now? Argument. Look at it. I have to press Those that key. Those guys need to get a room. Mm. Oh! Why not? Damn. Mind your own business. Damn. <laughs> Chloe had to shake this shit off. Bro, that nigga hit him with the with the boy. That nigga hit him with the bite, bite, bite. Like, I ain't never seen a nigga spam that move before. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Nigga, ain't you trying to get in the door? Why is you worried about street art? I mean, yeah. Is that what she said? I don't give this a damn. fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Mm, that mean get the fuck gone. And they got this, this shit not even 3D. This is one of them fucking, um, PNG images that just turns when you turn. This shit is not 3D. Hey, how I get in this bitch, bro? Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. <laughs> it's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Bro, why you have to throw my shit, though? Because you, cause you a man and you buff, and you know I can't do shit to you? You would not do that if I was your size. That's the can't thing. Can't push me around. You would not do Should that I if I was your size. To him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Now, 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 Chloe, oh, now I'm with car. you. I guess it's been years since anyone's actually Oh my here. god, now I'm on your side, bro. We need to do something to his ass. Throw his ass on those tracks. Oh my god, now she run. Now she run. What happened to that fucking walk you were just doing? I need to get past this bitch immediately. He just disrespected my entire being. Man, I screamed so loud, my motherfucking teeth vibrated. Now my bottom jaw is fucking hurting. What is that? If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Damn. Oh, this what's the name shit? Uh, 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 Frank, ain't it? Yeah. I'd join a motorcycle gang. I had any friends. Right, okay. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Oh, so we gotta flirt with this nigga? Are you kidding me? God, again? What do you want, kid? Bro. Okay, let me this just... This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Oh my god, bro. Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Mm, mm, mm. Gee, thanks. Is that all? Oh, get back. You look like a fucking fish. You look like a fucking flounder. Yeah, keep walking. I can't yell at that bitch, because then he gonna try to, uh, 
He gonna try to um 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 force his manhood on me. I don't like niggas like that. You know what I'm supposed to do? Burn his bike up? <laughs> Ponder? Maybe I will. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Oh man, I have a fucking story like that. Oh, there's a fucking shit back here. Um. Oh, okay. When I was like in high school, my school—I don't know if I told y'all this a few times—but my school had this fucking grade thing where if you didn't have the um. Hey, kids. Free candy. I feel like I'm illiterate. Not that I can't read, but that I can't talk. Somebody said that's not illiterate. Then that's just uh 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 uh, uh yeah. See, whatever it is, it's atta it's attacking me right now. Uh, at my school they had this little grade thing where if your shit wasn't up to par, they would not let you do uh, uh extracurricular activities. Not like sports and shit. But there was no homecoming or prom for you. I told you I couldn't go. I couldn't go to prom because my grades weren't that good. I still graduated early, but I couldn't go to prom. So seriously, um, though, who drives an RV to a firewalk show? Uh, Frank fat head ass So the thing is When niggas can't get into homecoming Because of their grades Guess what we do Sneak I'm saying niggas But I was probably the only nigga That was you know But yeah I, Motherfucker we still went up to the school And now we just looking for open doors Around that bitch trying to trespass Man I snuck in once And that was it And the second time We got caught each time What the fuck walking, kid. What the fuck what just happened? What the fuck is he talking about? Shorty, I'm about to get mad. Because what am I supposed to do right here? And I don't get no fucking convinced- Bitch, I- mm, I don't get no fucking, um, like, marker or something. Convince him? Convince him with what? Bring his ass this bed and stuff. Oh my god, get the fuck pants. back, man. This shit is annoying me. Oh my god, I gotta exhaust all my options, don't I? Again? What do you want, kid? And then you a robot. You say the same shit over and over again. You started a back talk challenge? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Why are you looking at me telling me that? She looking dead at me. In back talk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you... Mm, okay. And they made this a Chloe dynamic. Just more insufferable. Every time I get on this fucking thing where... <laughs> okay, fine. Here we go. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? What am I supposed to do here? To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Uh, mm. Then pick a comic that reflects their words back at them. Okay. Um, no bedtime, I guess. I don't sleep. It's for the week. <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Okay, bro. Y'all niggas getting. Oh, y'all niggas getting dangerous with this shit. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. All right. I'm more like Red Sonia. Riding a pit. Did you see her fucking neck? Red Yongya, what the fuck is she doing? Okay, I get it. You're tough. I ain't never seen a nigga that's tough thrust a neck at them. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kid. Oh my god, okay. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. What is that even supposed to mean? You mean a girl who doesn't take shit from a walking pair of biceps like you? That kind of girl? My boss will kill me if I let you in. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. <laughs> you're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? You are no. a shit bouncer. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? And then yeah. you, and th and then it's the thing. You are so trash at your job. You immediately start exercising brawn, bitch. Just tactfully tell her to go to fuck around somewhere else before you call the police. Somebody says you can't call the police over here. They doing drugs and shit. You can't even do shit. And it's the thing. When you not running an established business, all she she can call the police on your stupid ass. This is just a bad situation to be in. Bouncers don't really do shit except to men. Man to man bouncer. That's the thing. Now if it was a woman bouncer, probably would have creased your shit right then, Chloe. I ain't gonna lie. She wanna play with you. But a man, a man bouncer. The only thing that they useful for. Is for another man in situations like these. Besides that, they can't do shit. They just go look at the bitch. Get the fuck out of here, little nigga. I can't even touch you for real, but get the fuck out of here, little nigga. Only time they can touch him is that they do something. Even them motherfuckers gonna be like, you know, I'm about to take your job away because you just hit that 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 petite, young, delicate lady. You're a big ass, you're a big ass man. You can't be touching on people like that. That's my thing, though. More of the stories, what I'm trying to say is he trashed his job. Because there's no way, there's no way a bitch just walk up to me tell me, let me in, let me in, let me in in three different tones and I'm letting you, I'm, no. What the what fuck? If I had a knife? No problem. Because ain't that basically like, okay, 
because because if a man do that to a woman then it's gonna be a problem right somebody said this is not about intercourse this is about trespassing all right bro somebody said one of them is a personal violation the other one is a premises violation but guess who in trouble if she get hurt in that bitch though oh, okay you know what I'm saying? I think everybody should respect no for a fucking answer. Ain't nobody tell your stupid ass to hike out here for an hour. Somebody said, didn't you just get done telling us a story about sneaking in the homecoming? I did, and that shit was dumb as hell. They would have called the police on me. I probably would have been the only one locked up, for real. Yeah, misdemeanor on my record for the rest of my life now. They probably, uh, the motherfucker would have tried to switch it to a felony. I don't even know how you would have did that, but they would have tried. You know how that shit go. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on in. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? And then he just waves that shit off. You are a fucking useless man. You ain't shit. Cause now she's a liability in that bitch. This is intense. Oh my god. Ooh. Motherfucker, straight muscle tone. Cute dog. He don't give a damn. Fuck is that the avatar fucking deer though? Scream, don't touch my soul with dirty hands. A lot of y'all niggas in here got dirty hands. A lot of y'all niggas in here touching each other. A lot of y'all niggas doing it in y'all pastime. Get it cause that this sign said pastime, my bad. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Look at that motherfucker. That dog is fierce. Fat head nigga. I ain't finna pet him though. Somebody make sure she alright. You're missing the show. Make sure don't nobody touch on her, man. T-shirt vendor. Um, this bitch wanna steal a t-shirt, don't it? Hey, are you selling any bucks? What? Twenty bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. Is it really? Dick. I don't know. I feel like at all these events, them shirts be like twenty dollars. They go Frank fathead ass. Yo, Frank. Hey. Oh. bought pot for me every month for a year look at that get up <laughs> studs you're trying too hard what are you even doing here i'm here to see firewalk man they rock <laughs> damn book on my floor my shit you even hear about this little shindig ha, the internet how else that shit said fuck Seriously? power behind him fuck it kids are you whoa so you come here a lot or yeah right okay give, cool. give me out of here give me give me out of here get really me, me out of here please please oh my god i can't talk to niggas this fucking elsewhere in their brain Half make me sick to my stomach looks dicey bitch what the fuck you gonna do super jump you don't have the ability this is a fuck off skeevy guy skeevy that should sound like a pirate what is right here Oh, okay. And then he got less quality because he's not important. Ain't that kind of fucked up, though? 300 dock workers laid off. Their pensions canceled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Give a fuck about Prescott. Let me in this bitch. Let me in this bitch. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fuck. Keep moving, girl. It's a fucking mosh pit. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Oh, man. Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, dude. Give a no. fuck. Don't care either. Ain't no O's even coming you out there, bitch. Let me know how that works out for you, bitch. Oh, my. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Okay, dude. Is she staring at me? Mind your fucking business. Thought she returns. Frank, I need help. Go pop them niggas. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Fuck Damon is Damon. Eric? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's uh, a friend of mine. Popularity is for mediocre people. Okay. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up? Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? <laughs> the floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? Oh my god. No one goes up there. Fine. Okay. I didn't mean so to click that, honestly. Holding? I really didn't mean to I click that, but whatever. Definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. 
as soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Damn. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Hell no, nah, don't Never borrow that mind, shit. <sighs> Suit yourself. That's how niggas end up in bigger debt. That's why y'all credit cards be OC. Motherfucker trying to get some more money or, or borrow some more uh, product. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it, bro. If the show just in. Oh no, we good. I wouldn't be jumping up and down on that shit though. Oh no, we good, we good. It's still going. <laughs> All right, bro, get me the fuck out of here, man. I knew that was about to happen. I knew that was about to happen. I knew that was about to happen, bro. She's alone. You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Okay, man. Get this nigga out. Get this nigga off my dick, bro. Ain't that the wrong way? Ain't that the wrong way? Okay, bro. Get the fuck back! I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Okay, bro. Word. Okay, that nigga on the right is a uh, hype. I'm serious. You want to see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't see. be pretty. It won't. See what I'm saying? And this the thing. This the thing that I don't fuck with. And I know she's a girl. I know she's a little girl. I know she's a woman, bro. I understand. But this the thing I don't I don't fuck with. If you gonna get tough, bitch, stay tough. You know what I'm saying? Do not bitch up first opportunity you get. Don't be walking back talking about some... Uh, you want to say... You wanna, like, no, I need you to put them shits up, keep them shits up, and hit a nigga in his dick or something. You know all the weak points of a man. You used it on every little boy you knew in elementary school. First chance you got, a little boy played with you. Knee to the nuts. That's what you did in elementary school. You don't wanna do that shit now, though, huh? You don't got the precision for that shit now, huh? Oh, okay. I speak for all elementary school niggas when I say fuck you. But this is my thing, though. <sighs> Moral of the story is, I understand, though. I can't get too mad. But don't even give me the option if you ain't gonna fucking punch a nigga in this shit. You think she can take you? Oh, my God. that bitch yeah there you go that's exactly what i wanted you to do oh god then the last punch then the last look then the last little stick rachel then the last look look, 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 look. <laughs> nigga ain't Come shit on. nigga ain't nobody she probably could have whooped their ass two whole time Hurry up. she probably could have whooped their ass whole time though Fuck that bitch. Go, Frank. Not gonna happen. Calm down. Come on, man. Walk away. Screw this. Okay, Rachel. Get the fuck out of here. How are you mad that don't nobody want you to whip on? All right, bro. Oh, I know your ear is about to have tonight is permanently. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. But she going crazy though. Oh hell no. Nah. Y'all can tell I don't fuck with concerts. I wish I would go to the very front where the speaker's right at. Have my shit ringing for a, a month. Hell no. Nah. And how much of this shit is copyright? That's what's fucking with me. If I upload this shit and get a red dollar sign, I might dislike my own video behind that. I ain't gonna lie. And then they got a rainbow middle finger on my shit. What is that even supposed to mean? When I was a kid, bro, still to this day, rainbows are so cool to me. But let you say that out your mouth, motherfuckers gonna instantly activate that homophobia. Motherfucker instantly. <laughs> You're one of those. And it's like, nigga, even if I was... What the fuck is you gonna do? You feel what I'm saying? That shit be blowing me. I don't know, man. Motherfucker gave Rainbow a stigma. And I ain't talking about gay people. I'm talking about homophobic people. And them niggas gave them niggas gave Rainbow a stigma. Fuck is to you. This shit be blowing me so bad. Cause Rainbow's actually raw as hell. Motherfucker, motherfucker mad. Motherfucker mad at gay people so bad. A, a cool ass, a cool ass spectrum. Now, now it's alright. Now you one of those. 
Okay, bro. This I'm about to start treating motherfucker. When I see that black power fist and y'all make it mean something else, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting on y'all ass. That shit always been black power. Quit fucking playing with me. And I just I just know this is copyright. I might as well not even get my hopes up. I'm about to dislike my own video. When y'all see that little that little one on the dislike, that's me. That one no that one no hating ass nigga. That one no homophobic nigga that felt called out. Sometimes mm -mm, that was me. All I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Alrighty. Turn that fucking music off. And I hate these fucking yes. controls. Hey dad. Another day in paradise, right? Max looks fucking sickening right here, I don't know. Daily rituals are important. Even when they involve mm. writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny, but okay. Max the loser. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Wanna know why? Because you won at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this. Uh, hmm. Okay. You know, I, you know, I don't give a damn. Hey. Last night. This it, Dukes? Seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes that. Man, if I had one superpower, bro, I swear to God, it would be fire. Was that really? I just want to <laughs> engulf my shit. I wish a motherfucker would play and I get mad. Cigarettes <laughs> Bet you leave me alone. Better change clothes. How do you change clothes? Just pick some shit up off the floor? Please. That is an alarm? How did you even program it to do that? I'm asking too many questions, obviously. Raven. Oh, okay, for sure. Chloe, your ass died like four, five times. That's what's fucking with me. Ugh. This shit is fucking with me. Damn, he stuck the shit out your stupid ass. And I'm finna get in trouble behind uh, that. I really should get going. I'm about to get in trouble behind that. Damn. Whatever, shit. bro. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? I didn't even see you drink for real. Okay. Guess I better try calling my phone. Damn, my, what if I was mom's. just trying to like wake up still? Rub the fucking boogers out my eyes. Chill. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. You gotta shout out Mama Dukes who's for raising the beast. And then these bullets telling no, put your pussy to sleep. Hey, put the pussy to sleep. How can hey. Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating. That's crazy to me. I'm like, are you gonna call yourself her fucking bitch right now? We got a mission. She sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Oh, David took your shit for sure. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. This shit sounds way further right. It sounds like it's in that closet, but I can't yet. open it. Take all them shits from her stupid ass then. It sounds like it's in this closet. Huh? Okay. What is that? All Soggy right. toilet? There we go. Oh. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Nigga, I thought y'all was throwing wet toilet tissue in the corner. I don't know why you would be avoiding the fucking uh, toilet itself, but... Mm. Mom. Don't give a damn. Hello? Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab that little motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some pep in your step. Grab that bitch. Yes, sir. Oh, can you grab my cell phone, too? The fuck is that sound? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Give a fuck about talk. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. Yeah. Coming, mom. Give a damn about speech. Quit fucking talking to me. Give a damn about what you about to say. You Finally, lost your privileges last you fucking uh, season. Table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. I ain't talking to you. Get off my dick. Oh my god, I be having a. I don't know, but I can't chill though, cause everything be blowing me. I don't have all day. Would you Bitch, over here already? you told me to. I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Oh my god, fucking nagger. Hey, you mom. can't even say that word for you real. To talk? Hold on, bro. That, you you can't even say nagger for real. If you say nagger around me, I'm gonna assume you're trying to be funny. I ain't gonna lie. Because I genuinely meant, like, as in nag. What is that, an adverb? You can't even use that for real. You say that around me, I'm gonna assume you're trying to be funny. But I wasn't trying to be funny. She's a, she's oh, a what nag. What happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. Off my dick, though. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. Off my dick. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I agree. Sorry. 
I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? Hmm. <sighs> What is it with you and David? See... Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I'm sure you know what it is about dude. I don't want to talk about him. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I <laughs> wish you wouldn't joke like that. And I have to talk about this bitch, okay. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe, you don't hate him. He called I promise you, do not start that shit. Do not tell me what the fuck. Oh, because motherfucker be like, hate unchecked is murder. Don't ever say no shit like that to me. Oh, I hate you niggas. Y'all let us be self-righteous for real. He's me girly. He's a dickhole. Dickhole is crazy. Be old fashioned. Yeah, an old fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. I, nah. I don't want to talk about I'll that nigga. You don't want to start it. Grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? Oh, brother, this guy I'll enjoy stinks. that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. Are you actually worried or are you just about to... And this, this is my thing about Joyce, and it's been like that since the last game. Are you actually worried or are you just finna do the shit that you always do? Bitch, moan, but never actually take action into anything because you're so focused on David. Let me know. Let me know because I'm really, I'm really trying to figure out what you're about to do. The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. <laughs> David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. That's where you're losing me at. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Right. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you... And this my thing. This is exactly why I asked Joyce, what is she going to actually do? It's it's so many problems with what Chloe got going on that you just... And I didn't, I didn't say nothing about her dad because we know what that is. But the only reason I keep bringing up David is because it's not like I'm not telling you where one of my problems is. You just don't give a fuck because you happy. Which, yeah, you deserve to be happy. But don't keep asking me what the fuck I got going on. And I keep telling you and you not listening. If I say that, if I say I don't like math to your face every motherfucking day and i come into math class every motherfucking day and you ask me bro why are you always mugging eventually i'm gonna want to start punching you in your shit you know what i'm saying bro it's gonna get to a point where ain't no more talking i'm gonna just i'm gonna get like how chloe is you're not listening and you don't care to listen because you like math this is my thing you are fucking him bitch you fucking him of course you like him of course he good for you oh my god i remember man it's like i think it's a segment in the last game where he will smack the shit out you, and Joyce will justify that shit. She'll say some shit like, oh, he was just tweaking, or woo -woo, some bullshit like that. She literally justifies him doing that. And it's like, okay, see, that's that's why Chloe is the way she is. You don't give a fuck about nothing but yourself. That's cool, but you shouldn't have a kid with that type of mindset. Rude. You really shouldn't. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. Really shouldn't. David's had some hard times, too. Give a you know, fuck. If he's kind enough to share his experience... I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. Fucking hate when David. He takes you Been hating David. Today. Fuck him. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. See what I'm saying? Are you serious? See what I'm saying? This is such what, Chloe? Such what? Bullshit. <sighs> Mom's trying. 
I guess. She's not fucking trying. Oh my God. Somebody said, what's your problem with respecting authority figures? I can't respect no figure that don't respect themselves or me. What what respect is there? At what point am I just dick riding you because you older than me? You know what I'm saying? I can't respect you just because you... No, bro. I need... This my thing. It's motherfuckers out here, and I said it in my Walk of Dead episode. It's motherfuckers out here that are so hard on dictatorship that they don't really pour into their motherfucking children because they so worried about what they want to happen. And... You gotta realize once you get to that point, you are a detriment to everybody around you because you're not taking into consideration what they feeling, what stage they are in, uh, uh, what what stage they are in life, and all the all these important factors of another human being. You are not taking into consideration because you're so worried about yourself. And you telling me that commands respect. You telling me selfishness because man respect You not even actually trying to figure out what's going on with me You just see that something is wrong And you want it to be fixed But you not really willing to fix it This this my thing This is this is how I feel about it Think of it like a car, right? And that's a real, that's a crude example But think of it like a car, okay? If you neglect oil changes for the lifetime of your fucking vehicle Eventually your engine is gonna pop, okay? But it's gonna give you a whole bunch of signs before it pops That that bitch is about to pop, okay? If you sit there and ask your car Oh my god what's wrong what's wrong you know i'm gonna call you a fool because all you got to do is look at the dash not the dash the motherfucking um what you call that shit the little meters bro the speedo the auto all that shit it's a big ass tea kettle cup right there on volkswagen it's not it's like a check engine but it's a big ass tea the little the little, little, little poor thing lets you know i need an oil change bitch but let's say you don't know what that means if you gave a fuck you gonna take me to the motherfucking mechanic. You gonna take me to the dealership. What's wrong with my car? You know what I'm saying? You gonna actually do some shit like that. Somebody said I can't afford it. Okay, fine, whatever. Money type. Then you open up that fucking owner's manual and see what the fuck it mean. You know what I'm saying? At what point do you stop having excuses for the way that you conduct yourself when shit go wrong? So I got this motherfucking ding, ding, ding going off. Your, your, sh your, shit, your shit look like Christmas lights. I'm gonna just call it dash. Fuck you. It's a dash. It's a dash. Your shit got Christmas lights going on. And you talking about some what's wrong? What's happening? You at the motherfucking um, you at the motherfucking red light, your shit riding like this. Oh my god, what's wrong? You okay? You know what I'm saying? All for one day that bitch to explode and you trying to figure out what what went wrong. At one point did your car give up on you? Now 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 suddenly all cars of that model and make are, are, are unreliable. And you neglected it the whole way along with some fake ass, oh my god, what's wrong? Anyway, like yo, you see what I'm saying? It's a crude example, but I I think you get what I'm saying though. Maybe I should too. I think but you get what I'm saying, though. what's the getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Exactly. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Holy and... If your father could hear Give you. a fuck. And, no, and then, right. and then, and that's what, that's, that's why, that's why Joyce is such a sickening human to me. I purposely left that nigga out of the conversation. <laughs> did you just peep what the fuck that bitch did as soon as soon as i start really getting into how i'm feeling which is what you've been asking for what's wrong what's wrong what you've been asking for as soon as it really start getting into it where you have to acknowledge what i'm saying to stop me in my tracks you bring up a soft uh, you bring up a soft spot in my life you bring up some traumatic shit to me you are a sickening being you are a sickening being and you know what's crazy about this you know what's crazy about this and y'all gonna say i'm reaching this is abuse. <laughs> this is a form of abuse what Joyce is doing. What Joyce is doing right now, this is a form of abuse. Like real life. I'm not even playing with you. And this shit happens not only in familiar relationships. This happens in romantic relationships, friendships, and any type of relationship with another human. This type of shit happens all the time. And it's it's just an it's just an ultimate lack of consideration for the next per person so you can keep your comfortable life going. You are not shit. You are not shit. And in the pursuit of you holding on to your comfort, you neglect everybody around you. That is abuse. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That is abuse. Joyce is abusive. I don't give a fuck what nobody is talking about. Y'all gonna be in my comments like, she's trying, her husband died. I don't give a damn because y'all y'all always want to say that one saying, but when it apply to a motherfucker you like, now suddenly it, ain't, it, it don't exist. What saying am I talking about? Hurt people hurt people. You think because Joyce's husband died that it justifies her acting like this? Somebody said, so why you gonna justify Chloe acting like this? Because Joyce ain't even hearing her out about what's going on. 
You know what I'm saying? If they would've had a moment where they did this instead of fucking this all goddamn day, Chloe probably wouldn't be acting like this. But Joyce, like I keep saying, is so heavy on what she wants out of her life and what she want out of Chloe life that she not hearing shit except for what she want, bro. She ain't hearing none of that shit. She don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so I, I can't, I cannot, I don't, I cannot and I will not and I don't think I ever will fuck with Joyce. She is, she is so nasty. She is just nasty. And, I'm sure. and it's it's just uh, this is my last time pause it for a little minute i promise i'm gonna try to keep it under control but it's just so disgusting that she just brought up this little girl dead dad in the face of her trying to express her pain you bring up this girl dead dad you are sickening girl i promise you you are a sick bitch dad and the mustache would get along great it's a big bed there's room enough for all three of you mm, mm, mm. that's enough all I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? Because you don't even give it. I love you, Chloe. No, the fuck you don't. I miss you. No, the fuck you Nobody don't. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. To replace no. my father. I don't know where I lost you. Oh, my. This is emotional manipul. Do you see what the fuck she's doing right now? Y'all, I, I can't. Y'all. Oh, my. Y'all. Y'all. I don't know where I lost you. I tried so hard. I tried to step up for you and you just... I tried. I just... I don't know where I went wrong. I miss you a lot. I still love you. You're just making it hard for me. It's really saddening that you decide to conduct yourself in this manner. Your father wouldn't approve. But when I do it though, y'all see it. When I do it though, it's like, damn, that shit might be abusive. Cause I'm a man, I got a dick. Get off my shit though. When a man do it, now you, now you, now you, now you, now you trigger. Now you sensitive. I'm playing though. I'm just playing. Get off my dick twice, uh, times two. Get off my dick times two. Hear me out. They got this sad ass music playing in the background. Like I'm not seeing through this shit, bitch. And then and, and Chloe, she's she's young. She's rebellious, but she's not rebellious with a purpose. She's just looking for love and attention. So she don't even see this shit right now. You know what I'm saying? When you when you rebellious without a purpose, you're not really smart enough and perceptive enough to stand your ground when motherfuckers start doing shit like this. Cause oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There is no way you just sat here and said that to me. I'm losing my fucking mind behind this right now. She is the most manipulative bitch in this whole game. Like, real life. She up there with the press guys, honestly. She should be right there with them. I don't know how she didn't get in there. Somebody said because she a country bumpkin. That's fucked up. Did y'all know that... All right. I'm going to go on a tangent. Fuck you. Click off my fucking video if you don't like me talking, pussy. I'm going to go on a tangent. Did y'all know that redneck meant... The motherfucking uh, uh, um, white people who used to be slaves, which weren't like white people from Europe. Well, they was from Europe, but like weren't like the Britain white people. It was a motherfucking like Italians and Irish and shit like that. Redneck is the ones that was in the field doing field work with their little shirt on and the sun was beaming on their shit. So their neck would turn red from sunburn. Did y'all know that? That's what a redneck is. Them is struck out white people, but not just because they're in the country, because them niggas was in the field. How you got a derogatory term for white people that was in the field? And then, and you know what's crazy? It's probably gonna be a white person. They, they, they gonna take they gonna take that little tidbit of information to be like, see, we went through slavery too. I'm so tired of all y'all niggas, bro. I don't even know what to do with y'all sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what to do with y'all sometimes, bro. Y'all be taking me to. Talking about shut up and play the game. Somebody asked, somebody asked in the last gameplay, how long do you think his videos will be if he shut the fuck up? <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. You've been subscribed to me for a month. You know that's never happening. All right, man. Whatever. You didn't lose me. Right. Oh, my God. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem. Now. And then she brings up an ashtray that I made her. I... And you know what's crazy? Who who made this? Square Enix? They did all of that on purpose. They did all of that on purpose. All of that was on purpose. There is there's no way that her character is accidentally infuriating. All of that is on purpose. Ooh, that's a dirty bitch on my screen. 
You's a dirty Bringing bitch. David his keys is about the most humiliating thing mom could ask me to do. And see how she did it after she emotionally manipulated you, though. See how see see how she timed it. See how she timed it, and I gotta do it whole time. Oh my god. See how she timed it though. Where the fuck that bitch keys at? Oh my god. Here they are. Do y'all see how she timed that shit though? Somebody says you ain't never been a parent before. Why the fuck are you talking like you know some shit? Let's get these to David so he can drive away. All right, man. Whatever. I'm not no finna do with No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. Where the fuck is that bitch even at? Fuck you. And she knew I was about to say that. That's why she looked. At, that's what she. That's why she looked out. Oh, bro, she knew I was about to tweak on her stupid ass. Fucking thought. Now look at that old timey ass engine. Oh, it's an old time crap. car. The old time car. car. Too. Old time car. I I couldn't see the body from up there. I was just going off that big ass cylinder. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Okay, immediate We're sexism. You men will leave without us. Immediate sexism. Oh god. Oh bro. Oh bro. Oh bro. Oh bro. Oh bro. I'm about to cut this game off. Oh bro. I'm about to cut this fucking game off, y'all. I'm about to cut this shit off. I'm about to Really? I don't even I don't even talk to my dogs like that. I don't even talk to my dogs like that. Are you fucking kidding me? And Joyce love that shit. She a dirty ass submissive bitch. Whoa, she love that shit. That's the thing. That's what happens when you take the fucking nasty shit outside of the bedroom. You trying to be submissive in real life the whole time you dating a fucking lunatic. That, that's the thing. Y'all think that submissive shit cute sometimes. No, uh-uh. Keep that shit in the bedroom. You got a fucking lunatic thinking he run shit for real. Oh, man. Okay, somebody just said some freak ass shit. Whoa! Which one of you niggas just said y'all would be submissive to me? What is wrong with you? Pull your hand out of your pants. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Y'all, I can't. This bitch is. Oh god. I don't know about this game. I don't know about this one. Oh shit, this is hurting me. This is hurting me. No, mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. And she's smiling about. Okay. Chloe, is that a black eye? Is that no. you in my business? Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. <laughs> you know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. So this bitch what not even this? ready to go. Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. So this bitch not even ready. Okay, dude. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? I'm so sad for Chloe. I know she aggravated the shit out of me in that last game, but y'all so y'all y'all saw my ending. Get off my fucking dick. Get off my fucking dick and balls. I know she aggravated the shit out of me in that last game, but y'all saw my ending. I don't just talk this talk. I, I walk that shit. Fuck you. <laughs> I be getting so mad, bro. <laughs> Somebody asked me why do I be getting so mad, nigga. I got anger issues a little bit. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that achievement sound. That shit sound dreadful. Oh god. That shit sound like a TikTok jump scare. Oh my god. Uh, a little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. You see what I'm saying? Niggas ni okay, I'm I'm sorry. I told y'all I was gonna stop. And I wish another bitch would call him a gentleman. That motherfucker don't even say thank you. At the very least, that bitch don't even say thank you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
That was the most random. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <laughs> <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> that bitch laughed at it mischievously. Oh my god. That nigga just laughed at it. Oh, he's a sick man. Oh, nah. Ready to roll? Why would you Please say that like that? Talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Okay, bro. Fuck. What do you we want? don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. Ooh, boy. Boy, 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 boy. What the fuck do y'all got me playing right now? This is just like a fury simulator. Oh my god. He just keep they and they both just keep going. It's just non-stop. No fucking wonder she always was on some escapism shit. It just keeps going. It just keeps fucking going. Oh you will respect me. Bitch don't even know what that means. Fuck you. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Of course you do. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Like, I be trying to be Language. cool with your ass. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. You know. <laughs> You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean... Sorry, what has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? What the fuck does that even mean? What does oh, that even mean? That's what I smell. <laughs> A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... <laughs> You're breaking her heart. Get the fuck out of my face with that. At least she has a heart. She doesn't. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? Ron Jeremy. I was in the army. You will respect me. Oh my god. I don't remember enlisting. So don't treat me like your newest recruit. Mm. If you were a man, it's I'd It's cool. If I was a man, oh, okay, for sure. This is my thing. This is my thing, bro. This is my thing. Uh, Y'all know how I, I brought up, like, motherfuckers be talking about how they, they get into, uh, like, look, 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 fights with their pops. I don't know what the, I don't know what the power dynamic was, in, like, in their house. i tell you this, though. i tell you this, though. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. If you conduct yourself in a manner such as david you probably deserve your kid trying to fight you and honestly you deserve your kid whooping your ass now i know that's not ever gonna happen parents get experience they always got that dad strength whatever the hell but if you conduct yourself in this manner you honestly deserve your kid trying to fight you and then once you beat their ass you deserve them never speaking to your fuck ass again you deserve to be in a nursing home for the rest of your motherfucking life and i ain't talking about one of the good ones bitch you deserve to be in the trenches mm-hmm and that's fucked up that those it's fucked up that those nursing homes even exist but they do and that's where you belong forever and you don't even belong on like the fourth floor where you can look outside and see the street bitch you belong in the basement i hope a motherfucking cricket crawling your ass and every time you poop that shit go for the rest of your life permanently alone that's what you deserve folks in the grill why do you and, and, and this is my thing and and this is one of the things that i also feel like about about pets you should not have another conscious being around you when you have control issues you just shouldn't <laughs> You just shouldn't. They are they are always going to fall victim to you and your bullshit. I don't give a damn if you know every fucking single right in the world. If you have control issues, dude, you shouldn't have no conscious beings around you. Because there is no way, there is no way that as a grown-ass man, 
you justify saying to a little girl that you kick some shit off to if you were a man odd somebody need to do something to your ass you 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 are a fuck man you are a bitch you are a bitch you you are a you are a bitch you are a pure bitch oh my god <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy but if, if this was if this what was having a father was gonna be like i'm glad i didn't have one i swear to god because what the fuck if you were a man i wouldn't go so easy on you either don't know why i bother trying then fucking stop mission accomplished quit fucking talking to me I was like, when did she get in the back seat? It's because, yeah. I didn't realize what was happening. I just can't tell you that I miss you. That dislike coming. Y'all don't dislike my shit. I'm gonna dislike my shit. Copyright strike. What a beautiful day. Oh man, it's fucked up. Okay, but that oblivion in front of me is bright as shit, though. Where are we going, Dad? Why you tell him turn it up and then? <laughs> why you tell him turn it up and then start talking? Spark plug does I guess Mom left her purse back here. Damn. So the semi trucker had some brakes that went out because he was honking way before the intersection. Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Why do you even have to say anything? Oh my god. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh Hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. I don't even got nothing to say about that interaction. It's clear what Hello, he got going Black on. Cow. It's clear what he got going on. I don't got no, I don't even gotta say nothing about that one. Drugs, they will mess you up. I agree. Damn, but some of my niggas need to escape from their reality, unfortunately. Can't help it. Tempest? They got jokes. When I was going there, it was Vortex. But before me, it's, it's, they want to say Tempest, for sure. They got a whole bunch of storm puns. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true, then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Why are they talking about Who me? Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Tell them get my dick Great. out their mouth. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. You hear me? So, how about the Tempest? Oh shit. Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. And then I you rhyme and shit. Lame, but I was thinking. Do you want to go together tomorrow? Who are you? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. This is not All what that right. bitch was thinking. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Alright.
Out of sight, out of mind, huh? Yeah, we know how that shit go. Whatever. But I got on Max ass behind that shit anyway. Cause I'm like, bitch, you you did everything that you did on purpose. Talking about I would call, I would talk to you, I would da 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 No the fuck you wouldn't, cause if you would've then you would've. You feel what I'm saying? I got on her ass already though. Look at them over there. What am I looking at? Damn, y'all couldn't have added a a little more detail to my like I got I got niggas from bully scholarship in my game. Imagine you saw a human like that in real life. What would you do? Like just a pixelated human? Oh no, I'll probably tweak. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Why would you say that and you right in front of us? Like you did that on purpose. You're trying to if be goofy. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. And I'm about to get mad again. I'm about to get mad again. But this is all like some slight shit. You can't be... You cannot be... You cannot be a nigga that cries about not getting female attention, and then when they come in your area, you 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 treat your you treat them like that. Just straight hostility. You need to calm the fuck down, bro. You need to Sweet. calm the fuck down. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. It's a fucked motto. Right on. All right, there you hey, go. Now he's cool. Do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just huh, like a huh, friend huh, thing? Huh, 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 huh. I don't know her like that. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. <laughs> We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? That's a fucking cap. That's fucking cap, but... Fuck it. Let's see what's going on. Oh, what the hell? Game on, nerds. Mikey, Here's somebody slapped the shit out you? Why is your, um... You why are you holding your shit like that? Barbarian. Elf barbarian. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what that means, but whatever. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. Somebody says you're an elf I'm barbarian, good. dude. Really? Right. I didn't know that. Let's get started. Thanks for letting you me know. We're both famous heroes in the kingdom of Because my big ears. A once peaceful land. Oh, no. Now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. <laughs> Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Real gangster uh, nigga. Okay, fuck it. Calamastia. Ugh. Super into it. Yeah. Not bad. Get off my dick, then. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the unscarred. <laughs> in the name of King... Durgaron? <laughs> Durgaron sounds like vomit. I don't know what the fuck. Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? According to my character sheet, I once made a man kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. <laughs> to your left, the raiders' training ground. Oh. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the unscarred. And y'all really dragged that shit out. Which way do you Durgaron. Go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Mm, free them niggas. Free Where my niggas out there, JSL. Free my niggas out there, JSL. It's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages. 
each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Pussy. Uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. <laughs> Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Okay. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Okay, so you overpowered. Fuck you, dude. Get that shit up there. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. Yeah. You can try. What do you say? Yeah. Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication on the dragon. Ooh. Kid. Shit. Ooh. Really? Now he can understand every Ooh. word you say. Mikey, dope as fuck for Time that. Time to work some real magic. He dope as hell. So this is called a skill challenge. Where you try to use Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, meat puppet, whoa. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon king guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass <laughs> into your what head, the fuck? and then I can control your mouth <laughs> from the inside to say things. Ew. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragon can please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Okay. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. God. The uh, dragon God. King cowers before <laughs> you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. Give me the this fucking is going keys. To be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Ooh. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. Oh my god. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Woo! Uh, wow. That yeah, is yeah. nuts. I'm going to give you a plus yeah. 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. For sure. A small pool of urine collects ew, under ew. the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. All right. Then it dies of fear. Oh my gosh, awesome. I'm really that nigga. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. <laughs> What's next? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Oh my god. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc. Oh god. Who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Mikey! Okay. Mikey! So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. There you go. Um, overkill? Damn. Hell no. Nah. You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. <laughs> There's a sweet and sour oh kind God. of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. It disintegrated them niggas. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Fatal Cleave, Pommel Strike, Nieslin. Fatal Cleave, hit that okay. bitch with something crazy. Let's end this. Fatal Cleave. <laughs> You swing your great axe Oh, get to chemistry like class. I forgot all about that. The orc blinks Fuck. and splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at I this I forgot game. about chemistry. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely Fuck, any Mikey. loot survived. Yeah, I'm leaving hey. after that one. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Yeah, I gotta get up out of here behind Alamon. that one. No. 
Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get to class. Yeah, I'm done here. Peace. Really? We were just getting to the good stuff. If you go now, you can't rejoin later. Fuck. Fine, I'll stay, All bro. Right. Fine. Damn, What's next? I got peer pressured. I got peer it's pressured. Tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. I'll put a timestamp for y'all niggas, bro. Of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. Damn. His laughter bellows. Ha, 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 ha. That's a Your terrible lands laugh. Your and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. Elamon. I got this. I cast oh, Sael's cataclysmic cone of fire. Okay. The fire fizzles out on contact. Damn. Durgaron laughs again. This is Digo shit. His right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Mm. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based. Damn, Except you're a fucking for, loser. You know, acid blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show <laughs> off for Chloe. <laughs> Calamastia? Oh god. Um, what will it be? Let me see. Annihilation strike, wrathful rush. I'm a wrathful nigga. What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgaron is caught <laughs> off guard, and he fails to dodge. Oh. You slam your shoulder into him, Bet. knocking him back and doing yeah. some damage. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Next. I'm that nigga. Annihilation Strike. Fuck him oh, up. Holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. Fuck him up. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. Damn. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Oh, fuck. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh, no. Damn. Sorry. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. <laughs> Severing both feet at the ankles. Oh my god. This game is awesome. My feet? Sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. Stomp. Stop. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, he can't do anything. He, he got fucking fire shit. Um, shit. I guess jump in front of I him. Jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. Get off my dick, though. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Huh. Bring it. Hell yeah. He charges. Thrusting madly with his great sword. That shit went through my shit. Shit! Damn! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? <laughs> I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength. Draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. Fuck. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Fucking swing at that bitch. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Come on, give me some. 20. Woo. Fuck yes. Woo. Bring your axe down in a wicked chop. Severing his arm completely, his bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, hmm. incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn! Torched his stupid ass! Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. Of course. I'm afraid, Calamastia, 
is dead. That's and that's Chloe in real life, I honestly. I feel sad right now. Better that's Chloe in real life. Hero, than live as a coward. That's how she died most of the time. That was fun. Check out what I well, drew. like half the time. You drew that Monty's just got now. Serious drawing skills. You drew that just now. That's fucking cold. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. Damn. Why that was cold though? DVD check. Next stop, chemistry class. Fuck. Joy. That class probably already over. I done fucked up. I done fucked up. Oh, bro, I did. Hell no. Nah. That shit already over, bro. Ugh. Whoa, whoa. What's Is that Nathan? What have you got here? Twitch. Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Bro, leave him Guess alone. Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, my God. No wonder oh, this wow. nigga was bringing Blick to school. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Okay, dude. Take it elsewhere? What the fuck that Wanna mean? Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Okay. Um, uh, mm. Uh, Mm. Uh, mm. Uh. Here's where I stand with that. If it's the truth, if it's the truth, fair game. If you just saying that because he's black. Uh, I get that you getting bullied, but you can't just turn racist, though. You can't just turn racist. Huh? Half of me say Drew punch his shit through again, but half of me is like he wouldn't even have said that if you want fucking with him. But then uh, th my half split in half, so another quarter of me is like. But he probably feel like that anyway, regardless of if you was fucking with him or not. So I don't know. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. Woo. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? So it was Leave racist. Leave Nathan alone. Who the fuck you know are you? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're... A piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! <laughs> Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Just because you told me to do that, I'm walking away. Just because you told hey, me to do that, I'm walking you away. Take the time to stand back and watch. You miss some of life's finer moments. You were you 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 took all that energy to run over here. Like, you took all that energy that. to run over here and tell me to do something. You got me <laughs> fucked up. That took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. Damn, Nathan got a fucked up life just behind his pops. Look at him. He would have did the same shit to me. I ain't standing up for no nigga. You should be ashamed. You should fucking die slow. You f ooh, ooh, I almost got on your. F ooh, ho, 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 bitch. Ho. I ain't never seen a fucking, oh God, Mount of Caucus Grinch trying to get on my ass about my choices in life when that bitch ran over here and was just as useless as me. The fuck is wrong oh, with you, good. you smush face bitch? You like somebody fucking selected your facial features and used a pinch tool to squeeze your shit together. Get the fuck off my dick about what I should be. I do beseech you. Useless thought. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. <sighs> Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating and to your other fellow actors and most of all to yourself Mr. Keaton sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? <laughs> I had my mom take it in a bit <laughs> Shit Rachel looks awesome 
This is getting Don't wink at me. Don't wink at me. Night. Don't wink at me. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. Y'all know mean, when I, um, Does she really mean that? When I first Especially transferred to the... I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. You wanna transfer to the white people's school? Yeah, that is hard. I try so We've hard to get into the drama club. Forever. We I try so hard to be a little actor. They did not allow the me in. Is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? I don't even know what you just said to me. Miranda's a fucking idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? 12? Mm, maybe I shouldn't have clicked that one. Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Huh. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Oh, so this was early in the morning. I went nowhere near late. Fuck Joyce and David for making that shit. Okay, damn, you feeling me? Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, oh, girl, you know what, what happened to me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. Asshole. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Okay, you already sending me uh, on missions. Yeah, sure. You already sending me on missions, for sure. See, that's what I don't like about you, bitch. Okay, uh... Get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't like fall down. <laughs> Should be do it. Okay. And so then you getting uh romantic anxiety. You getting sexual anxiety. Cause she gave you that gaze. Rachel looks so happy. Here. Nigga, if you don't grab her fucking belt, you nosy as shit. There's Rachel's belt. Nosy as shit. What does that yeah, say? So cops? I'll give this to Rachel now. Cop C? Cop C? I'm like, where's the R? But maybe it ain't supposed to be corpse. Please, please, no freak shit. No freak shit. Rachel, I'm around the corner. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes. Yep, freak shit. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, no, some freak shit. Throw that belt over. Can't look at that. I'm about to hit her there own you. shit. Dink. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> I ain't come around the corner. What? Chloe Price. What in the hell Rachel happened to your shoulder? Amber. Last night was amazing. Did you fucking fight Duragon? Firewalk was pretty good. Getting attacked was amazing. Firewalk was pretty good. Uh, Durgaron, bitch. I've never bitch. seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth. I went to bed last night, wishing it never had to end. Mm. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? What does that even mean? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Okay. Uh, has Rachel ever gone rogue? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. So I'm never going to chemistry, no way. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Hell no. I'm that nigga. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. I wore mine as a badge of honor too. Respect. My shit was thick and purple. Let's get the hell out of here. Like fucking Roman Stalinsky's nose. That's how my eye looked after I got in that fight, bro. Punched me dead in my shit. Mm -hmm. And no, I did not go to sleep. I ain't win either, but I ain't go to sleep though. I held my own. As a young, short black man, I did what I was supposed to do. You sure you don't want to mm -hmm. just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Okay. So we getting on rusty nails to get tetanus and shit for sure. Well, what the hell am I getting into here? That bitch said, "What the hell?" Mind you, mind you, she's crazy in her actions. What the fuck she be doing? And she's talking about what she getting into. Rachel just seems like Where a figment right go? now. Like, it's not, she's not real or something. I don't know how to explain North? it. 
Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. I don't know if they gave her that energy on purpose, but she seems like like a figment of my imagination. You're like she ain't real or Pull something. Up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. I don't know. Who is Elliot? Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Oh, this dude. Hey, why aren't you and Kim? Everything okay? Yeah. Her shit went down with Drew and Nathan. Did you see? Yeah, let's talk later. All right, for sure. Maybe one of these crates. Imagine being a fucking things heavier than uh, a conductor, and this fucking teenagers trailing your shit like this. Down. Ugh. All right, Chloe, it's kind of freaky, we're honestly. On a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. What is she like the school celebrity? Like cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this? Are you staring is? her dead in her shit? I wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Look at how hard she looking at her. <laughs> uh, Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know me, man. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. I mean, you don't want to bro me in. I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends. You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. The fuck is Mr. Keaton? I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. She already did. You will get on this train. Like, dude, you already here. Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. To do what, though? That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy oh, no, rides you girl. again. Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Okay, we going to the trenches for sure. Let's do something fun. I was down bad on my dick. They pay attention. Then I fell under my knees when the law came, and I can't go like me in a hallway. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. Godly. What? I think we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are <laughs> the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. When I was a freshman in high school, it was this... Okay, y'all, listen to me real quick. This is, this is past me, but I'm going to describe it as if I was past me. When I was a freshman in high school, bro, it was this fine-ass, brown-skinned, curly head. And one of my female friends somebody said saying female is dumb fuck you i say nigga all day y'all don't ever say that's dumb i say nigga all day and y'all worried about female get the fuck off my balls anyway and the only reason i said because girlfriends y'all get the fuck up i ain't gonna keep defending myself listen bro she was fine as hell and my friend she used to be my best friend but whatever she she yeah she knew her and i was like shit put me on and so she showed her some pictures of me i can't take pictures for shit mind you so, so she showed he had she had show me some show her some pictures of me i'm fucking up and then the girl responded like yeah he fine whoop, whoop, all this extra shit so my friend sent me the screenshot i'm like damn because this the thing when you grow up like when you grow up like undesired and partially ugly you don't never expect that, especially from like a 10, you won't never expect no shit like that. And so behind that, you know, I added up, I started trying to talk to her. I don't know how to talk. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know how to flirt. I don't know how to do none of that shit. All I know is how to be me. So I was trying to talk to her and the conversation was dry as hell. So I told her, oh my God, like, let's play 21 questions. That bitch texted me back, no, I don't think so. That shit hurt my little soul. That shit hurt the body so bad, bro. I was like, damn, what the fuck I'm supposed to do then? Because I'm not trying to fuck this up. Man, whole time she was talking to this nigga I fuck with. Pause. He was talk she was talking to this nigga I was cool with, bro. His name, I ain't gonna say no name. I almost said his name. But 
he was in my math class the whole time she was talking to him she was at the movies with this nigga all type of shit but i'm still in her phone I, I, man it was it was it was so much shit with that but she was so fucking bad to me man that shit blew me so bad talking about no i don't think so that's the only way i know how to have a conversation that's the only way i know how to flirt what the fuck else i'm supposed to do tell you i'm gonna, I'm gonna put my shit in your mouth i told a girl that before i told a girl i want my dick in your mouth i swear to god i did she ain't even respond I'm, I, I don't know why she didn't block me i truly do not know why she didn't block me but that was around that time where i was on that alpha male shit obviously i've grown past that since then but i genuinely told her little ass yeah i want my dick in your mouth <laughs> yeah she, i don't know why the fuck she didn't block me i would have blocked me uh-uh hell no nah. but yeah that, that's just what this reminded me of because boy had i brought up two troops in a lie i would have get that same response and my little shit would have been broke my little heart would have been in my ass nigga <sighs> but i ain't gonna do i ain't gonna do Sounds rachel fun. like that you're on i ain't gonna do it like that How long I've been recording for? Good God. First, I'm ambidextrous. Okay. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. That one's probably a lie. Huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece... Kathmandu? I don't know what the fuck those are. Kathmandu? And you, you, the only day, reason you said that is because it sounds crazy. Going to climb Everest. And that's the only reason I know this because that's what Can I was I saying it for. Away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. I'm gonna go with the New York so, one. which is the lie? New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. <laughs> I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? I guess. I just met you, girl. Like, what's to you? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Why are you talking like panicking? Should I off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Okay, dude. Um... I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. She is okay. Is fucking. I love science. A truth, I guess. I love science. Oh, it is a truth. She did used Seriously? to love science. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson. She is did. The shit. I'm tripping. She did. Huh? She sure did. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. <laughs> Bitch took my yoo-hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. What is a yoo-hoo? I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Hell yeah. Also, sweet scar. I got a scar. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. You ain't even playing a fucking game uh, no more. Hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. Pause. So, pirate. Obviously true. I'm not I'm not flirting with this little girl. Like you Are you said, kidding me? Arr. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. Uh-huh. What do you think of that? Failing chemistry means I hate science. Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Yeah. 
That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm going to say true. That girl sound like Ariana Grande doing a black scent. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. Is that this one? Which one is the, is it this one? I, I don't know. So you're a physician now. Last summer I performed a one woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Damn. <laughs> oh shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. She want to be me well, so bad. I'm impressed. She want to be me so bad. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm going to feel good about that one. Whatever. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Yeah, it's deep. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. What, what did I trust you with? Just coming you? outside? You played the game. Oh. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. Oh. But yeah. eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Well, I am. Juan is, so I don't know. Juan is, though. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. <laughs> on the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. <laughs> Oh shit. My bad, y'all. My bad. Getting a little too heinous. Wouldn't mind listening hectic, to some music. Heinous, hectic. Heinous is like evil. Heinously hectic. I'll use that one. Hey. Wanna listen? That'd have been funny as hell if I sat there and listened alone. Copyright strike. Copyright strike. I already know. Hey, you know, I, I damn near don't even expect to get... I'm, I'm gonna say I don't even expect to get paid off of Life is Strange. Y'all are some fucking bitches, though. Y'all are some fucking bitches. Because why all the music y'all want to drop copyright? You couldn't have put some fucking... I don't know, man. And I don't have the energy to edit that shit out. That little court was tweaking. <laughs> I be noticing small shit in these cool games, bracelet. bro. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. I'm mad what happened to you happened to you, man. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Absolutely, I fully Sometimes agree. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. That's deeper than what I mean, you intended, I think. Check it out. We're here. That's deeper than what she intended. Or maybe it ain't. What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did um. you say jump? Jump! Okay, fuck it. I'm jumping. Fuck it. Oh, bro, I said the same shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. That girl said, don't be surprised if I'm just up and out of here. That's fucked up.
the fuck is that? Why am I talking about her like this? She just... Okay. D see? Okay, Iggy Azalea. Get off my screen, though. If I put some eyes on that fucking mountain, it look like a, a big ass like earth dragon. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the eyes right there so y'all can see it. <laughs> if I remember, it look like that damn alpha dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. Night Fury is so raw. Can't nobody tell me otherwise. Night Fury is that nigga, man. Do I give a fuck about any of these niggas? They go to Banga, bitch ass. How the fuck that nigga get to Black Whale then? Hey, that's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here. I have a new game for us to play. Of course, the fuck you do. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is what I learned in theater class. It's all about mm. improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Ha! Huh. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. Is that how y'all feel about me? That's fucked this up. This game involves spying on people from afar luckily we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here let's fire it up you just the board is bitching on the planet ain't you because what are we doing right now <laughs> the fuck <sighs> the bitch stole your quarter <sighs> he about that to... blows well Shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Damn. Boop that bitch. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, man. What am I capable of? Chloe Pry. Chloe Pry. Rachel really wants to use this speed finder. I'd love to get it working for her. Yeah. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Damn. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. The fuck? Maybe Rachel has something I can use. That bitch was really trying to rip this shit though. <laughs> uh, graffiti? I would not. I would not. Unless he owns slaves. That bitch might have owned slaves. Let me graffiti his shit. Fuck you. Oh, no, this is 1992. Couldn't own slaves. Well, not that it's impossible, but just that it'd be highly hidden. So nobody would have a documented history of it. Rachel, you got a tool I could... Why would she have a tool? I guess I'll ask, though. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Okay, Jane. For sure that. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Rachel, do not get hands. What is that about? Chloe Pryor. I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? You don't know anything about him, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Anvil obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if you, she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Fucking Sphinx cat on my screen. Once again, pain in my ass. You lucky I spared your stupid ass last time. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Where will I find sturdier? Initial? Okay. Squirrel. Nah, don't scare them niggas. They chillin'. Ties swing. Fuck you. Unscrew. Yeah, yeah. My thing is, I had to blow that fucking lock up when I was max, but you can do shit like this. You just was failing last time. Grab that damn nail file off that floor. Stealing flow. a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Where did that nail file just go? Do you still have it? Girl, did you just... Okay. First got power, activate. Okay. Good shit. Call her. Hey, girl, you called her. Uh... 
I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. <laughs> Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Go Lewis, go Lewis. Thank you for that. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. There's gonna be a couple kisses. That's it. I do that in my head during like every class. They about to be on some freak See? shit. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh God. Damn, they go Rachel right there. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow. You made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah, look at folks getting getting jiggy Who down there. This guy. What's he thinking right now? Um, stay away bees. That's I absolutely bees me. Don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. Pollinated is insane. <laughs> I feel like that's a pause, honestly. Okay. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Shorty has a hype. If you want lunch, you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man. But I don't know how to skin a bald eagle, Dad. You don't? What the <laughs> hell are they teaching you in school? Wow. That was dark. My fault. Too dark. Perfect dark. So, like, hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? <laughs> exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> that was some Jekka and Nicole ass dialogue right there. Kenny La. This is fun. Who's next? Who's behind me? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Oh no. Oh, okay, they good, they good. <gasps> okay, Jackpot. I thought it was something else. Commence the way he walked up on her in. in three, two, one. Nailed it. The way he had walked up on her, I thought Damn, something else was going on. They are really going at it. Is that your dad? I don't want to say nothing. I think that's her dad. Only reason I'm saying that is because she said that nigga a district attorney. That's her fucking pops. Hell no. Nah. What am I supposed to... Oh my gosh. Chloe would not notice. Oh, she wouldn't notice. So, okay. I, I might be wrong. Let's keep the joke going. Vibrating oh, bed. Honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. She not about to... <laughs> Rachel? Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, that's her dad. That's her dad. Hey. Are you alright? What are we doing? We... Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Um, okay. I'm still hungover, though. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then and then not buy her a drink. Okay. She okay, that maybe not her dad, but there's definitely somebody she know. That's she got okay, wow. Something just happened. Uh-uh. Maybe she'll tell me. They have a bottle of wine. I'm not about to Let's steal. steal it. Girl, uh, are you crazy? Okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store. Oh instead. my god, no. what is happening? You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Wow. Wow. What's happening now? What is this? Um, can you look we like help a fucking you? funky Tony Stark. <gasps> God. No way. Get the fuck back in that seat. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. I don't want to steal. 
I'm not a stealer, but I will for now. Oh, thank God. Please, this Oh my God, I almost activated cringe mode. Help. I almost activated cringe mode. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Oh my Who God. are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. This when? is the wrong time it's to be time like to this, but whatever. Watch out. I'm going to check her Watch out. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth to mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. That's what you give for getting me to steal this. That's what you give for That's what you give him. He's me. clearly useless. Mm. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Mm. Thou I fucked shalt up. help those. I who fucked help up. Thine selves. You know who said that? I fucked Cod? up. Oh, word? I thought it was Benjamin Franklin. Oh, but that's be that's even better. Damn it. She's right. Why are y'all okay. I'm this is what NPC. NPC. And why is that shit still in the middle of my screen? Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart thank you yeah good work everyone peace out oh my god honey that are you alright incredible you're a hero huh I guess I am I really be trying not to call people out their name what in the fuck type of script Here. is that you earned this. Girl, no. No, thanks. You're the one who keep really worked for Keep that damn bottle. Suit yourself. Yeah, I will. You keep doing that shit. Drink your fucking sins away. I'm cool. Damn, I gotta hurry up and fucking... I am excessively sober right now. Mm. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Her whole vibe changed when she saw that shit down there. I might be reaching, but there's somebody she know. Maybe not her dad, but there's somebody she know. Her whole vibe changed. And I'm looking too deep into it, but when she said, take something that's not mine, I don't know. I don't know, man. Wait, that's his little fair partner or something down there? To <laughs> I'm just, I, I just be making stories up. I just be making stories up and shit. And she really putting that shit down. Whoa. Hey, check this out. Oh, we look at her. Pile of trash. Look at her now. Uh, she all moody. Yeah, an awesome. Yeah, pile that of trash. that that dude is somebody she know. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Okay, now we gotta Rachel's go see what the fuck is wrong with her. Kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I'm not wrong at this point. I am not wrong at this point. She even said that nigga was a liar earlier. What is wrong? I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. 
I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Uh, she is not that fucking strong. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. I can't. Toxic. Ooh, toxic, yeah. Score. Cause you know you ain't going nowhere. I'm in the pit, 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 I'm I know you're the school princess and all, with the I was right. daddy I was right. and the perfect I was right. grades and all the perfect little I was Victoria right. chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, I was right. fuck you. I was right. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Let her fucking go. Rachel, wait! Don't go! And then you a dick rider. This is literally how toxic relationships start. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. See what I'm saying, bro? And what is this exactly? Fucking friendship. I'm not doing this with you. A, a real friendship. I thought Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I, I thought so too. Before today, I, I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry for whatever I did or didn't do today. Was it, oh my god. I, oh. Oh. This is so sad for Chloe for multiple ends. I'm not disregarding Rachel's emotions. Obviously something happened, but and I didn't I didn't conduct myself in the best manner. Don't don't act like I don't know that. I know that. But this is sad for Chloe because like, girl, this is she got abandonment issues really, really fucking bad. And she over here apologizing, and she didn't really do that much wrong. Yeah, I might have pressed a little harder than I should have, but you just met this bitch. We just jumped off a train for her stupid stinking ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a f- if, if you can't hold yourself to the same standard you hold me, then it's fuck you forever. But I understand she got her own shit going on. I really do, but I feel so bad for Chloe right now because this is not enough to be, like, pouring your fucking heart out. You just met this bitch. This is exactly how these relations were. You are literally latched on to her now. That's why she was... Well, plus the shit that she already got going on. That's why she was so fucked up in the... Um... In Life is Strange 1. She latches on to people way too hard. I'm not... I'm not diagnosing her. But that's one of them things with, um... BPD. That's one of the signs of it. The way they latch on to people. I'm not saying that she got it. I, I'm not saying that. But that is one of them... It's one of them things that let you know. Okay, this person got... You feel me? So th that's that's why this is kind of making me sad, but whatever. This day I've had since since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up cuz I'm a fucking screw up. See what I'm saying? Chloe, please. I don't want to be alone anymore. All right, bro. I'm sorry. Chloe, I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair, but I can't be your friend right now. <laughs> can't or don't want to, does it matter? I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe. And she got so much attachment to this bitch just off this one day that she, she don't have the, she don't have the self-respect to just leave this bitch alone. I wish the fuck I would talk to Rachel Ann about all this.
Girl, you got it. For the rest of your life, you got it. I'm cool off you. Uh-uh. That, un that, un that unstable, you never know what the fuck finna really happen. That shit is too much for me. I can't be in a relationship like that. I just can't. I can't have people around me like fuck that. this place. Girl, can you just go home and fucking sit in your bed? Look at her fucking walk. I'm not finished. Not yet. Oh my god, she's forcing me to do this shit. But let me. All right, okay. It's get okay. <laughs> Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? I don't know who. Fuck off, Rachel. Okay, now you whipping Rachel for sure. <laughs> uh, you about to beat that shit because it's Max. I'm already know how that go. He took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Mm-hmm. I'm not diagnosed with her, but I, at the very least, we all know she got abandonment issues like shit. Like, like really bad. It's fucked up. Ugh. And her mom ain't making it no better. She feel like her mama abandoned her. Cause she did. Mama ain't shit. I know in the last game she said she felt like her dad abandoned her, but I don't think she actually looks at it like that. I feel like I know her emotions look at it like that, but I don't think she genuinely looks at it like that. But everybody else, she genuinely you feels like abandoned her. Apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. I may be wrong though. Y'all let me know. Fuck you, David. Mmm, smash that shit. She just threw it, and I bet not see her behind me. I bet not see her behind me. Leave me the fuck alone. Ooh, you almost closed your fucking finger in that girl. Whew. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Is that the accident? It's the accident, ain't it? Yeah, I know it. And th this is uh, this is off topic, but not really off topic at the same time. This is another thing that I hate about a lot of the ways parents go about handling shit with their kids. They be trying to downplay the shit out of what their kids got going on, bro. And I understand from an older person's perspective how you look at younger people and their issues. Like, nigga, that's not even that serious. It's real shit out here that you should be fucked up about. But... When you look at life like that, you'll never understand how some shit actually affects a motherfucker, like for real, for real. And the only reason I just thought about that is because everybody just shrugs Chloe off for the most part. Like, like really they do. Nobody really takes her struggle seriously. They just see she acting up and that's Why all they give a crying, fuck about. Sweetheart? Damn. Death Crow. You know when them crows pop up, somebody because about to die. you're not real. When a crow pops up, somebody about to die. I'm not 
What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> you know what? It's better that they friends and not friends with other people because you you can't be friends with a regular person. You're going to run them fucking crazy. I it's only another I crazy motherfucker that, that could deal with crazy. Truly. I say that was some fight. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. And I'm not using crazy as a derogatory term. It's just an adjective to say not normal. I could say weird, but that feels more insensitive to me, honestly. <laughs> And I'll be calling my damn self crazy. So fuck you for thinking I'm talking care? like that. Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. And I'm not gonna lie, her pops right now is a signifier of what she would like to be done in her life. She wants somebody in her business, but not like dictatorship I like don't that. Feel drunk. She just wants somebody to talk to for real. Sometimes people need you though. Ooh, girl. Even when they don't admit it. That scared me a little bit. This is my thing, man. I understand. I, I really do. But in real life, y'all don't do that. You can't save nobody. In real life, do not try to kick it with motherfuckers like this, bro. You cannot save them. You can't. The only way you kick it with motherfuckers like that is if you got the same shit going on. But besides, you can't kick it. You can't kick it with people like that. You can understand them. I swear to God, you could be nice to them. You could do all that shit. But you cannot. Don't latch on to them like that, bro. Because. You gonna fuck yourself up. Y'all know I'm real heavy on like consideration and being honest and truthful and looking out for other people. But at the end of the day, you the most important person that that you have to do all that for. You know what I'm saying? So I guess do what you can if it makes you feel like, you know, you're a good person. But do not sacrifice yourself for shit like this. You can't. I just feel bad because Chloe is latched way too hard on the Rachel, and that's because of her trauma. I know you can't control it, but I'm just saying, if you, if you if you can and you realize this is a situation you win, try to be cool, bro, because it, it ain't gonna get. It's just gonna be like, ugh, like this. You know what I'm saying? A fucking death crow. When is, who's finna die? Somebody said that's a raven. All right, bro, my bad. I ain't, I ain't saying you can't be friends with them, but you have, you really have to be careful, bro. You really have to be careful, cause if you give them, a, if you give them your all, and they have a moment like this, you're gonna feel like Chloe. You gonna feel like you've just been left with zero. You gonna feel like they took shit from you, he used can. you, all type of shit. I'm glad. Hey, I couldn't let the day end with. Whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Mm. The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Right. Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Mm. Oh, the worst part is I'm not surprised. Yeah, you said that. 
You said that. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. You said that. I just... I didn't know what it was. Yeah. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. So that's what all of this was? Yeah. Be cool. Be cool. Chloe, I love my dad. Right. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. And that's exactly how I go. When yeah, my ultimate dad betrayal, died, man. I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. Fuck you. No one's ever safe. <laughs> yeah. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. You don't owe me shit. You don't owe me shit. Yeah, you good. Don't... Don't worry about it. No. I mean it. I don't give a fuck if you do mean it. Meeting you? This... Friendship? It means more to me than you could possibly imagine. And this is gonna this gonna make a few of y'all mad at me. I know it is, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> they just met, and the only reason the emotions are so high is because. Oh my God! The the reason the emotions are so high is because they just fell into each other from the other shit they got going on in their life. That's the only reason they got so close. And the reason why I'm pausing and bringing this up to you is because usually that's not a good thing. Uh, when people fall into each other that quick, it's usually not a good thing. I'm not going to say always, but usually it's not. Because there's something missing somewhere. Because truthfully, we don't know her. She don't know us. We didn't jumped off a fucking train for this girl. We didn't ran away from class for this girl, all type of shit. And she on some fucking hunt down. Let me see what my dad on type shit. Like, the emotions are high for her, and I was there with her. That's why she feels this connection to me. And I, the Chloe feels a connection because she feels like she got a fucking friend. The emotions are high for her for that reason. And the reason why she feels like that is because she's like, oh, my God, it's Rachel Amber. She's so cool. Like, the emotions are so high right now. That's why the fuck they feel like they're friends. I'm not going to say that they're not, but outside of that height, heightened emotion shit, they didn't really do nothing. <laughs> they didn't really do shit except transfer trauma to each other. And I'm not saying that you don't do that in friendships, but for that to be the base of it, you in, you in for some shit. You in for some shit. I'm not going to lie to you. You in for some shit. I'm not going to say that it doesn't get better. Hell no. I'm the type of nigga that... I'm the type of nigga, I'm going to be honest, I know all of this about people. I know all of this about relationships and shit like that, but I'm the type of nigga that I feel like if I don't do everything in my power to make some shit better than what it is right now, then I don't, I ain't justified in leaving some shit alone, which is why I'm telling y'all, don't even get involved to that point where you feel like you had that responsibility to fix a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Um, because you're gonna be that way too long trying to get some shit right, and it ain't never gonna be what you want it to be. It's 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 a slight chance that it it does turn into what you want it to be, but you know, most of the time it ain't gonna be that. And you getting your hopes up that you that little sliver percentage that it does go the way you want it to is what's gonna keep you going back to some trash ass shit. 
it doesn't mean that the person is a trash person it just means that this situation ain't shit this ain't no fine i'm gonna just say it. this ain't really no friendship this is a fucking not necessarily a trauma bond because trauma bond is like from an abuser to you know what i'm saying so not necessarily a trauma bond but like it's something with those words i don't know what the what the saying is but yeah that's what this is they 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 bonded off of trauma they locked in off of bullshit that's what the fuck this is not necessarily the healthiest way to start a friendship or a relationship but you know that's just me giving y'all a little warning giving y'all a little warning that's all you know what i'm saying and like i said the only way that shit works is when both of y'all ass fucked up okay <laughs> that's the only way that shit works so if y'all both fucked up then fine whatever but when you trying to not be fucked up when you realize that you want to grow past this situation that you in right now it's a hard reality that unless they growing with you you gotta leave motherfuckers behind sometimes bro i ain't gonna lie to you so yeah i just want you to know <sighs> i'm lucky that you were with me today You're a badass, Chloe Price. And then what? it's fucked up because Remember it's like... Remember biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. <laughs> you saw that? This is like and some funny shit, but like funny. followed you upstairs? But like, bro. You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. That was Only a motherfucking... Because you showed up at the last minute and... See? Like, what are the chances? Are you You're grabbing somebody thing, as handy as me to take a fucking a I placard off of a bench like peel a shit out Plus, get a quarter put it in the working house. one and then you see your well, dad doing that what are the chances i don't really need a good reason to ditch school you feel me i guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay what my are the chances skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty and my dad will definitely punish me with I, I, and, and i don't have the option to not say shit uh, uh, fuck it, sorry. I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. Yeah. Uh, what I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Money? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. Mm. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. I damn near wish they would have did it, shit. Okay. For real, for real. Cause shorty ass ain't have to go out like that. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I wasn't too excited to play this because I'm like, bro, these episodes be so fucking long. But just off of the... I think that's one of the reasons why y'all like to watch me specifically is because of my analyzations of the, you know, human psyche and the way they go about relationships and all of the different dynamics and shit. So I'm glad that I got to experience that with y'all this episode. But I'm, I, I almost sold myself by not recording this. But this is, it's so much shit, bro. It's so much shit that just happened in this episode. It's not even fucking funny. Come on. And, and you know, I, and, and listen to me, listen to me, listen to me also. Oh, girl, you tripping. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, this is the thing I was about to say. Even though these, like, these look not trauma bond, but bonded by trauma friendships, I'm saying aren't, like, the best thing ever. Ironically enough, ironically enough, these be the, the strongest <laughs> relationships. And not necessarily in a healthy way, but just, these motherfuckers, it take a lot for them to break, like, break apart. Like, for real, for real. These be the shits that they don't really separate for real because they so strongly bonded by the shit they've been through together. It ain't necessarily healthy for neither one of them, but they just so locked in. You feel me? Ask me how I know. <laughs> Ugh.
What is this? That must be episode over then. <sighs> Motherfucker done torched the whole woods. Man, look at her freaky ass. Submissive ass little dumb bitch. And it's so, and this is another thing that's gonna aggravate me about Joyce. You gonna cry to that bitch. You gonna cry to David about all the shit that's going on. And he gonna make you feel better about neglecting your daughter. Well, what can you do? She is acting like an ass. She is being a delinquent. You know, sometimes you have to be tough on them, and you can't just let them run you. You have to. He all whole time he over here validating you treating that that motherfucker like shit. Whole time he is over here validating you treating your daughter like shit. Because you want somebody to rant to. You want somebody to And that's one of the reasons why I be saying especially in relationships Try not to rant too much about your relationship to other people, bro, because they are, they gon' unless you, and I'm gonna I'm sit on my high horse, unless you like me, and you done done years of inner work, years of human research, and looked at all the ways relationships can go, and you know all your flaws and where you fuck up and all that shit, and you accept it, and you trying to grow, unless you are really, really particular about yourself, and how you know yourself and all that shit try not to rant to other people about your relationship bro because they are going to validate you for the most part most people are going to validate you and you will be wrong as hell whole time you know what i'm saying like especially especially people your age <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um and parents that don't want you with whoever you with anyway but that's just the point motherfuckers will validate anything that leads to an agenda of you leaving somebody that they perceive to be worse for you it's always gonna happen and that person may genuinely not be worse for you it's just the people that you rent into don't want you with them for whatever reason or they think they know fucking best you know what i'm saying which ironically is coming from me because i always think i know best but that's besides the point moral of the story is i'm not saying keep abuse and shit like that private i'm not saying that but if y'all just having arguments little disagreements i would i would I would encourage you to do more looking into yourself than looking into the relationship and then looking at whoever you having the issues with. Do those three steps. Look at all of them first and look at them hard. Look at them deep. Look at them in, in, in all the detail that you can before you go ranting to other motherfuckers about your situation because they'll fuck you up. They'll have you on this bitch alone. So be cool. Be cool, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Get this fucking copyright shit off my screen. <laughs> okay. 63% of us attack that bitch. 36% of us will mean to Joyce because I fucking hate that bitch. You and 14% of players stayed out the fight because fuck that bitch. And you told Rachel you were just friends. Oh my gosh. What in the fuck is going on? More than just friends? So y'all freaky. Maybe it was on some sister shit. If they would have said sister, but y'all made it ambiguous on purpose because y'all love that. And I don't get nothing against it. But if that's what it is... Make it a little more obvious, bro, because I can't tell what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm a type of nigga that I'm scary. I don't really be making moves unless I know some shit for real, for real that. Um, but if it's just on some sisterhood shit, then I would be like, hell yeah. But on some girlfriend shit, this is not. Y'all see how y'all see how I feel about the relationship and how that shit started. I, this ain't really something that I'm, I would want to lock in like that for real. I know I know how that shit went, but yeah, man. I'm, Anyway, yeah, this was a deep ass episode. Okay, I don't know what the fuck they got going on right here. I don't care. Ooh, Shit. ooh, what is that no about? One steals from me. I want my fucking money. No, 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 no. That motherfucker just tried to throw me in that shit. Watch out. All right, man, that was Life is Strange before this uh, episode one, man. Like if you fuck with it. Like button if you fuck with it. Like button if you fuck with it. Comment if you got any of the games you want me to play. Let me know y'all thoughts on the game, bro. Subscribe for more content like this. i catch y'all niggas in the next one. Peace. And I want you to know my motherfucking knees hurt from standing this long.